good run of form going guys we actually only dropped nine points so it's uh it's credit to barnsley to have stayed right up there with us uh we're a point uh, sorry we're one goal difference shy of them that is why they are top so a big win today even if barnsley do manage a win could put us back on top heading into that crucial crucial top of the table clash uh, we do have a number of changes to make though and uh, oh my god it could be a tough game this guys Donny and no pushovers and uh, yeah I don't really have cover in <laughs> defence it's going to have to be Jacko right back Tamas will have to keep his play so I would have dropped him out and Paddy will drop out for Monte um, Sonali drops out for Ferrier the potential two special beasts uh, swap positions there Pintelli will drop out for Baba uh, if Brewster's fit, yeah indeed he is, he's going to come on for Banchu and I think that's the team I'm going to run with guys. More than capable of beating Donny, but we are in for a tough one here. It's a good play from Donny. Taylor, beats on to McCulloch. Marus, oh it's McCulloch, our former player boys, I forgot he played for these. He whiffed one in. Well I'll check out. oh only as far as the Donny player though. Schweitzer here, really scuffed the strike a bit but it was dangerous just wide of the post. And uh, first real chance goes to Doncaster, still no no. It's McCulloch, we know he's dangerous boys. Oh the strike straight at Fructo. And uh, Doncaster continue the early charge here, they've been a better team so far. We're going to be right on our game, we could break here though boys. Clever. Looking inside for Jimmy. Oh he's just offside, come on that has to be close. I was waiting for that run. Oh. Come on, ref. That's so close. Ah, TK. Maybe Somehow Doncaster still have this. Looking but the fuck, boys. Row whipped in. Really now by Tamas. Oh, and a strike from Taylor. Not far. Ball over. Looking for Brewster. Oh, he's got there. Rian. Nice ball. Clever. Whip it in. Jimmy. Fuck, Stephanie. Oh, my word, boys. That is a smash and grab if I ever have seen one. I cannot downplay how bad we've been in this half. We've been absolutely awful. I think it's our first shot. There we go, Martin Tyler confirms. Doncaster have been all over it. I know my way, boys. Somehow we take the lead. Ball fed in by Archie Alexander. It was a nice little run by Clever and a good ball in. And Jimmy Norwood is the man we want on the end of every chance, boys. Put it in clinically. It's 1 0 to Tramir. Completely into on a play. And uh, well, I don't think I've. I've had a half where I haven't deserved to lead so much, guys. Look at these facts. And that will back it up completely. Yeah, six shots to Donny to a one. Three on target to a one. They had the better of the ball as well. Our pass actually wasn't on it. 75 to their 84. They had three corners to our none. Uh, but at the end of the day, a hallmark of champions. Uh, we are an ultra attacking. What the fuck? Maybe that's why we got thick. <laughs> but uh, a hallmark of champions half. is winning when you don't play well. And we are doing so far, so... Let's improve the performance the second flanks. half and keep the results as it is. Marquise though, on to Rowe. Jacko is looking to get in, Andrew back to Rowe. Back Trying to, to Andrew. Way away. Stop this boys, an get on it. Oh, it's the header in by Donny, I can't say he didn't deserve it boys. I just can't get the ball off his fucking... In the end, he just pissed it about really with it on the top like uh, taking the piss boys passing around the fullback Looking with ease with Taylor like and Rowe and nice little goal. one twos Taylor gets it back which one in and it's a nice little way header way that so, uh, the header was well. by Taylor sorry I think it was um, Rowe and uh, I think it was Anderson playing it about fortunately for us though deservedly it's uh, Doncaster back in this Can we get the early response ourselves? So, boys, oh, Jimmy was in space. Surely offside. No, it's oh my god, boys! I thought it was offside. I wasn't even celebrating. And Jimmy makes it two one. It's two goals in three minutes. Three goals in seven minutes. Well, goal, and dear me, when he got the ball here, I was like, puts the ball in. He takes a touch to for some reason, feeding Jimmy, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, <coughs> he is on side. Uh, Jimmy Norwood gets a brace, really and we're back in front, boys. Get it. These are the dreadful, dreadful game, boys. Rowe's just got him on toast. Fructal bails us out once more. 
Well off Christian, having a right game there. It's a Tramia corner. Our first of the game, what can we do with it? Not a great deal. Tamas, hit it Tamas! Tamas off oh, the post! Unlucky lad. I don't think he's ever scored since he's come in in the summer. But uh, that was a really good effort. There he is again. Much better this half boys. Get on that farrier. Try again, unlucky lad. Try and hold what you have. Could be dangerous. Anderson, Mason. Oh no, dangerous ball, boys. And for fuck's sake, Marquis puts it in for the equaliser. We have done better this half, as I said, but it's still probably been a 50-50 half. Donny, just get the other side of Monte. The changes have really affected my performance here, boys. Just have not turned up some of these sub slash fringe players who've had the chance to come in and do something. Uh, that and the fatigue just haven't really fared as well, boys. Been a poor, poor performance. Get on it, boys. Oh, we don't even get a chance to break. And in the end, it is two all. Boys, I mean, I'm lucky to get a point from that, I'll be honest. That was just not good enough at all. Uh, as I said, we did do better in the second half. Does that reflect that? They had nine shots total to our six. Six in total to our four. They had possession and pass accuracy and corners. So, um, yeah, I will take the two all, but we are probably going to fall fair behind Barnsley going into the game at Oakwell. If we play like that against Barnsley, we'll get absolutely stuffed. Man the match goes to Jimmy. It's a 9.3, unsurprisingly. Got both our goals. Only other player to play over an 8 was Kleber, who got an 8.8. .8. Two goals for Jimmy, assist for Ferrier and Kleber Menezes. Oh, uh, tell life, boys. Ferrier also played an 8.8. .8. And as you can see, guys, Barnsley did win that game. Uh, we've got to be wary of Rotherham as well now. We have dropped points a fair bit in the league recently. Uh, two draws in a row, one of which I simmed. And Rotherham United are only two behind us now in the uh, chase for promotion places. Um, it looks like we can rule out the rest of them for now. Oxford Scunny and MK Dons make up the rest of the playoffs. But um, yeah, Rotherham and Barnsley are the teams that we need to keep an eye on their results. Barnsley's next game of course is ourselves we're going to do a training session uh, Fructal somehow <laughs> didn't go up in rating two D's he's almost gone up in all five starts he will left 75 next training session for sure so he's got another international management offered boys and uh, that's a really good one actually I'm mean, obviously not going to take it I'm waiting out on the England job but Peru they're a good team they're in the World Cup Finished above Argentina in the latest qualifying for that uh, 2018 World Cup. They've offered us a job. We're just going to reject it, but uh, fair play, Peru. Good luck for the future, boys. Boys, we have another training session, and surely this time he's going to go up. Yes, indeed, he does. <coughs> fair is much better. Gets an A and a B. Uh, two Cs for Ferrier and a C for Ampadu. Ampadu also goes with 70 rated defender now. Uh, both centre backs are at 70. So, lovely stuff. I think it's time to take. Fructal off both his training sessions and Ampadu off his and uh, we'll start training elsewhere next time round. International, uh, international players missing on duty here are Banshu for Romania, Pakai and Tamas for Hungary from the 14th to the 20th of November. Uh, you know, uh, what the fuck's this break about then boys? We've just taken a break. They're going to miss the Barnes again, for fuck's sake. Why are this... Have we got two weeks off? But then they're not leaving until Thursday to Wednesday in that week? Jesus Christ, boys. They could have played, like, round here. Uh, gonna be big misses there, boys. Uh, gonna have to make some, some changes for our biggest game of the season, unfortunately. So here's the change team against Barnsley, guys. Uh, Brewster comes in for Banshu. Uh, should note by saying that I think it's Banshu's first call up to international duty. So his form's been rewarded by Romania. Well done, Banch. Good luck uh, in your travels, buddy. Uh, I'm going to make one more change, actually. It's uh, me, I, Pintilli, who's been excellent so far this season. We'll drop out to the bench, so I will bring him in uh, on at some point. Mary Akbar asked for a, Akbar asked for a game. Uh, Aki's been sensational since he came in. Really, really effective off the bench. And uh, he's won us a couple of games, so I feel he deserves that. Jacko had a torrid game last time. He was easily our worst performer against Doncaster uh, was that right back to be fair so he comes in at left back in place of Tamas 
The only other player to go on his national duty, May Pakai, who usually starts on the bench. So uh, in his place, we just brought Cox. So if they start getting Aki. overloaded in the middle of the park, looks back for Cleb. On to Jimmy. Norwood. Oh, Here side netting. Unlucky there, Jimmy. Yeah. Good start, yeah, though, boys. In goes the corner. Get ahead, boys. And save by Fructal. Fucking hell. Somehow the they flicked that on near post. And it was first strike by Barnsley, a and dangerous one. Get rid of it. Archie gets his head to that. You can get there, Tonali. Go on, lad. Give it to Rian. Come on, Rian. Couple of Didn't really play well last game. In a, what can he do now? Oh, he could be in. And Kleber's up top. Crafting good ball to find him. Kleber! Oh, the touch is so bad. Oh, it's good football from Barnsley, boys. What a ball in. Oh, and the header. The Bounces off, Fru off the, the post and off Fruckles back. Thankfully for us. It didn't fall dangerously. I'm not moving for me. Oh, clever though. Clever with the touch. Oh, he could have been in. In the end, it's cleared by Pinillos. Come on, lads. You're static as fuck today. Tonali, hit it. Oh, saved by Davis. Corner for Rovers, boys. What can we do? Whip it towards the centre. Sandro Tonali. Heads it wide. So our time guys, 0-0, and uh, it's been a decent 0-0 to be fair, surprised that the scoreline is still that way, both teams had chances, uh, I don't think any one dominated rather than the other, I suppose we had the better of it looking at that, we've had all the ball, 57% of the ball, 4 shots there too, 1 on target piece, uh, although they did hit the post to be fair to them, uh, we had 3 corners to their 2, 84% pass accuracy to their 76%. So if we keep up in this fashion, boys, uh, we are certainly capable of getting the win here. Oh, this whole move is, boys. I'm predicting every pass and anticipating it. Still couldn't stop it. Oh, and now I've given it away. Oh, my God. A bit of luck for Barnsley. It bounced off TK. Fell perfectly for their man. But in the end, I'm Paddy. That's a crucial block. I think he did. I don't think it was a save from Fructal. So well up and Pad. I thought Jimmy could have got there. Just stopped with him. Ball whipped in, out by Lovren. Now we break. Play. Fucking hell, lads. This is a end. really cut throat. Lost the ball. It's the break on. It's a great there. ball over. Oh, maybe a bit long for Ryan, but he will keep it alive. Brewster. Oh, that my God. I had to go for it. There's just no support, boys. That's an excellent cross. Oh, Mawat. The header just that. wide, boys. I thought we were going to be on that then. You'd say there are two players coming on. Aki, nice turn. Oh, and the ball inside to Jimmy, who gives to Ram Brewster to tap in. Yes, boys, we lead, finally. I mean, it's not been a great half, boys. It's been much worse than the first half in terms of uh, a neutral perspective. Neither team's really had a chance this half. The, a clear cut one, certainly. But, thank fuck, we do eventually get in. It was nice work from Aki, found a wonderful little ball inside to Jimmy. And uh, I had to go for the little shitty so the cut across goal. Because nil. nil nil, a big, big top of the table clash. We just need to win, boys. Ram Brewster obliges with a goal. Come on, lads, let's hold this now. Get it back. It's nice football, boys. Archie will whip one in. It's a good ball as well. Head there by Brewster and saved by Davis. Oh, look at Jimmy. Oh, he's good at yes, boys. Them. Final score is Barnsley nil, Tramia 1. The Only the second defeat we've inflicted upon the home side this season, and it is enough to leapfrog us into first place above them. Uh, it was quite an ugly win, to be honest. We did just about edge it, as you can see. Seven shots at a six, four on target piece. We edge possession, pass accuracy, and the corner count. Um, but I suppose Barnsley, had they got a point, would not have uh, counted themselves too lucky uh, it was a pretty solid all-round game there boys both teams not really at it I feel um, and the match goes to Bruce who got the winner he gets an 8.7 Jimmy got an 8.4 he got his assist Aki an 8 he started that all move and uh, Kleber Menezes also got an 8 even better news here as well boys because Robin only drew last game so we are four points clear of them now a point clear off Barnsley at the top of the table so guys, next training session is set up now. We gave one to Antoine Leconte, who's 79-94 potential, just 15. Only 54 rated, sent her back. Um, and you know, in time, I may give him more if it does adjust his potential. Uh, but based on how good physically he already was, I'm gonna train him for now. Uh, we get Cameron Morgan on one as well. We just, 
He's been in the squad for quite a while now, and uh, just we need him to reach 60 already. Uh, but we did need three training sessions for Aurelien Ferrier, who, after reaching 60, we did find out is or has potential to be a special player. So I was going to spam him now, get him some serious growth. So a B and two Ds for Ferrier, a B for Morgan, and a D for LeCount. So guys, this seems to take on the final game of the episode, which is against Bradford City. Uh, the return of the players who were away in international duty last time around. So Bantry starts in place of Brewster. Tamas returns instead of Jacko, although he is a bit fatigued. Uh, Pintilli comes in in place of Aki, who is on the bench. Uh, the other one who was away was Mate Pakai, who isn't quite fit enough yet uh, to make the bench, unfortunately. So we're going to run with this team, boys, and um, let's hopefully make it an unbeaten episode and extend our lead at the top. He's got support here. Archie could be in now. Been to pass. Oh, Pintilli play it on. The ball. Oh, and it is a goal, boys. It's clever menaces. Yes, lad. We do take the lead. And uh, it's been a lightning start to this game. Archie Alexander picks it up. Gives it on to Pintilli. The first touch is sensational. And the ball in matches. That's what we were missing last game round. From the, well, last couple of games from you, Mihai. And a nice cultured little finish. And Clever Menes uh, stretches and gets his first goal and in league football. Tramiel one, one nil Bradford here. nil. This stage, who's to say that they can't sustain it? Oh, what a ball, that is. Sensational. And on to Jimmy. Here. Norwood, surely to finish. Yes, Jimmy. He was probably going to be fouled. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. But it doesn't matter, he still takes the strike and in off the post. Literally unsavable that one. Great ball inside to Tonali, I'm not sure who played it. In fact, I think it might have been clever. We fed it on to Jimmy, bangs one in, and a Tramia 2 0 inside 11 minutes. That may well be that. Arch. TK will find Arch again. Oh, it's nice football, boys. And Pintelli's in. Mihai puts inside nicely. Oh, and the finesse finish makes it great. Inside 20 minutes. This could be a hide in here, boys. Bradford have been completely rocking all game. Done very, very little. And uh, it's just all one way traffic. And we do punish them. Got ball inside for Pintelli. Once he's got inside, and he did it to perfection. Completely takes the man out. And uh, left foot just rolls it past the keeper. Mihai Pintilli so makes it 3 0 to Tramia. Get in, lads. So it's really. the half time whistle, guys. It is Tramia 3, Bradford 0 at half time. Uh, did all the damage in the first 20 minutes. Uh, they came into it a bit more towards the end, but didn't really do too much. Uh, they only had one shot, in fact. We had 8 to their 1, 3 on target to their 0, so we were clinical with the ones we did take. Uh, although, to be fair, Jimmy's goal struck the post on the way in. So actually, the keeper did make one save. Uh, we had 55% of the ball to their 45. No corners for either side, but we had 90% pass actually to their 84. That's really good, boys. And um, we did score two against Doncaster, though like, we didn't really deserve it. Aside from that, I think we'd scored a goal in each of our last four games. Uh, five, if you can have the sim game. So I was getting a bit concerned that our attack, which is usually so proficient, is uh, getting a bit blunted. So this was nice to see, boys. Really, really dominant half for us. Uh, can we add to that tally in the second half? Bleber. For the life of ball over to Banch. Oh, what a header for one fly Banch. It's good football, boys. Play it on again. Tonali, hit it. Oh, just wide from Sanjo. Unlucky, boys. Norwood. Jimmy. Oh, there's the ball. Chips it over. Now taken down by Pintilli. Oh, my God. The keeper, what's he doing? Fuck it up. Unconvincing clearance. In the end, Bradford will get rid. Now here's Riley, well, Alamo. Oh, get rid of that, Ethan. Come on. So now, like, someone will get rid of it, lads. Oh, I do not believe that. Deflected off one of the boys. Or is it deflected off that man? I mean, he's celebrating. It looks like he's going to be awarded the goal. But that's so fortunate for Bradford. We've defended generally quite well. Although we made a complete pig's ear of a couple of clearances there. By the of the bar. It is well, it twice, and Padu feeds it on to Tonali, and oh, it looks like it did take a deflection to off TK, boys. Unfortunately, it was struck by Appan. Yeah, just strikes TK on the thigh. He's holding his arms to his body we to save for the, the handball, but unfortunately, does get something on it. And uh, Bradford have probably a 
Um, Ill deserved. Consolation, boys. Oh, but are we in again? Oh, we are, boys. Is that Aurelian Ferrier? His first the strike. There, yes, boys. Really good. They the right pass Not sure, yeah, there. yeah, it is. Ferrier gets his first goal they for the club, I'm pretty sure. Immediate the response for Tramio. Restore the free goal lead. And it's a nice little finish. Does somewhat go through the keeper. But Aurelian has enough power no on it. Playing in cam for the first time. Came off the bench. The the and uh, he's done bits. Nothing got himself a goal. Tramia 4 1. And that is full time, guys. Does finish Tramia 4. Bradford 1. Uh, well deserved win. Uh, we only did have 4 shots on target in the end. Um, but look at that. We had 12 shots in total to their 5. They had 2 shots on target. We tied possession and pass accuracy and no corners in the whole game. Strangely. Um, on the match goes to Mihai Pintili gets a 9.5 uh, Jimmy pushed him close for 9.4 Elsewhere Clever got an 8.5 and 8 ratings for Ferrier and Morgan They both come off the bench Goals for Norwood, Ferrier, Menezes and Pintili Assists 2 for Pintili, 1 for Norwood and 1 for Morgan So look at this boys, Rotherham lost again Barnsley did win so they remain just a point behind us But we've uh, gone from a 2 point gap over Rotherham 2 games ago to a 7 point gap now So that is big Bit of a cushion there, boys. The gap to the teams in the playoffs, Walsall, Oxford and Scunthorpe remains large. One more training session before the end of the episode, guys. Let's see how we fit. And uh, Ferrier goes up and rating. Get in. He gets an ACD. Uh, Morgan and Lacan also grow. They both get A's. So, real bumper session there, boys. Good shit. Uh, but that is the end of the episode, guys. We have no more messages. So, next episode, we travel to Vale Park, take on Port Vale. Then at uh, Shrewsbury Town at home, last game of the month, we'll have uh, various squad updates, etc. Uh, then we have a big, big game, quarter-final League Cup, at home to Stoke City. You can see the rest of the draw there. And uh, just incidentally, looking ahead to the episode after that, the FA Cup draw has been made for round two. We have Walsall at home, Walsall aside in our division. Uh, so, could have been better, could have been worse, guys. I think we fucked them up, actually, the game we played in earlier on the season, let's have a look. Yeah, beating 4-0, so... Uh, they'll be looking for revenge. They're a dangerous team, obviously. They're in fourth place right now. So, that'll be a good game, but... I'm not scared of them. Really excited for the cup games in the coming episodes, boys. And uh, that was a good episode us itself. Seven points from it. I'll take that, boys. So, thanks to you for tuning in. I hope to see you again for that next episode.